cottons. Now, if you grew up in the English-speaking world, you might know that the answer is simple. Number one. North America. Number two, South America. Number three, Europe. Number four, Australia. Number five, Asia. Number six, Africa. Number seven, Antarctica. But not everyone counts continents like that. Because the definition is that con continents Continents are large land masses masses separated by oceans is fine. Until we all actually sort of think about it. And then we run into problems. Problems like this. Here's Europe. Here's Asia. And you notice no lack of ocean between them. So why are the two separate continents? The U are different. Different usual reason for this split is a cultural one. That Europe is so different from Asia that it's best separate to separate entity. Okay, maybe. But if but if the cultural argument is valid, that they also applies to to India India and the Middle East. Now I have nine continents and, and a lot and dozens of islands. But then, but then, you you never stop drawing increasing increasingly unhelpful lines. But increasing unhelpful lines, then you'll separate Africa into two, which will get worse. It will turn to North Africa and South Africa. Or they might separate North America and Central America. But all we know is that we're done, but not really quite done, because that tremble word large. How large? means continental large. Is Australia really a dinky continent? Or is it the king of the islands? Why not make Greenland the smallest continent? It's pretty big, even if it took away its ice. But all we know is that sometimes Europe and Asia are combined to make Eurasia. This Eurasia is not to be confused with this, with the Eurasia that 
that's always meant to be as middling with East Asia. Now this on route, the, the number of continents goes down to six. But, what about Panama? What about Panama? It, it joins, it's the one where it joins South America and North America. It, or at least it used to be, until Terry Rouge said that it, the, the car had to be split. But it has, it might as well be him. But, but it don't, but you could go all the way down North, North America, North America, North America, go all the way down to North America, Across the narrow Panama Canal and Panama Canal, and then and then through through the jungle and poisonous forests of, Bra of southern Brazil, and make it all the way to the southern tip of Chile. So. The Panama Canal joins them. So that means that North America and South America are sometimes combined to make America. So, so it's sometimes known as a single continent, not two. Which, which brings the number of continents down to five. But if you're going to have to disregard the Panama Canal, then you also have to disregard the Suez Canal. But then you've made the monstrously large Afro-Eurasian continent. 97.9 thousand kilometers wide, home to, home to 5.7 billion people. Well, this is more Well, then... It brings it all the way down. It brings the number of continents down to four. But that, but if you look at Antarctica closely, if you if you take away Antarctica's ice, that, then you reveal that the archipelago isn't what it pretends to be. Antarctica is a lot, a dozen, I should say, thousands of islands. Yes, it is island. It, it is just a dozen islands combined with ice. So, I be, so they say, and Tarek is always saying, don't vote me. Well, now it brings it down. The mo if you might be saying, then you might be saying, every one's a continent. Everyone's a continent. So that brings the question. There might be three continents or dozens. Continents or dozens. You know what could so Sort this out, science. Confusion plus 
of signs equals answers. Let's ask geologists what, what a continent is. To them, a continent is a single tectonic plate. So, geologists, show us your continents. The, the Eurasian plate. The Eurasian plate. The Australian plate. The Antarctic plate. The Eurasian plate. The Australian plate. Plate. The Pacific Plate? There isn't anything living there. Well, there's mostly nothing there. The, Na the Nazca Plate? The Scotia The Nazca Plate? The so the so sure plate, which I do not even know how to spell. The Antarctic plate. At least North America looks reasonable. Unless you got include a chunk of Russian hat. Japan off half of Iceland. Well, this doesn't end it because there's just one more place left, and that's a South American plate. Well, that ends it here. Australia is declared a continent. Thank you for watching.